Hello and welcome back to CGTN's special series, Tides of Change Season 2. It feels good to be back. My name is Jason Lightfoot. I'm Gao Ang. I'm now at the Confucius Temple and School in the city of Quanzhou. Yes, we're here in Quanzhou City in Fujian Province, the start of the ancient Maritime Silk Road, a literal melting pot of cultures and religions from around the world. I think there are three keywords describing why we choose Quanzhou in our journey. So the first one is, of course, UNESCO's World Cultural Heritage. Quanzhou is the emporium of the world in Songyuan, China, and also is one of the most important ports during the Maritime Silk Road. But before getting into that, Jason, I'm super excited walking on this bridge. Yes, wow, we get the privilege to, to be yes, on this uh, bridge here. Yeah, because in ancient China, only the top scholars of Chinese intellectuals have the privilege to walk on the bridge and to worship Confucius. Yes, Confucius, the Chinese philosopher, widely considered as one of the most influential individuals in human history, the forefather of Chinese education. Yeah, it sounds like you've done a lot of research. Yes, actually, I'm a Confucius expert, yes. Yeah, and now I'm going to circle back a little bit to our other keywords. Yes, I would say the second word uh, to associate with Quanzhou would be diversity. Yes, because only on one street here in Quanzhou, there are different temples and a mosque. So it's really hard to believe that such different cultures and religions coexist yes. in a small place. Catholicism, Christianity, Buddhism in such a close proximity. Yeah, yeah. And the third one is definitely vibrance because it's still a living heritage and has influenced a modern Chinese. And now I'm joined by Mr. Zeng Guoheng. He's Hello. the chief translator of the Quanzhou yeah. World Heritage nomination. So Mr. Zeng, tell us more about the Confucius Temple and about Quanzhou. Um, of course, as you may see, uh, we're walking through this grand complex of the Confucius Temple and also the school, school next door. Mm -hmm. And we are arriving here at mm -hmm. the Da Cheng Hall. Da Cheng means the great achievement uh, achieved by um, Confucius. Confucius. And as you may see, this is a heap roof with yellow tile. It's like so and massive. Yeah, and the construction began in uh, 976, correct? And yes, and the layout was formed in 1137. Ah, yes. And I wonder, like there are so many Confucius temples across China. So how does, how's this different from others? Well, um, in terms of the scale, it is one of the largest mm -hmm. among the seven coastal provinces. And as you must know that Chuanzhou is in um, imperial China, it used to be quite remote from the central government, mm -hmm. but it still has this grand scale Confucius temple, which represents yeah, that like Chuanzhou so prosperity. Yeah, this is so spectacular. have a Confucius statue there. So uh, there are so many tablets up there. And mm -hmm. uh, tell us more about what they say about Confucius. Right, these are all the eulogies written mm -hmm. by uh, emperors in the 17th to the 19th centuries and such as this one mm -hmm. Wan Shi, Shi Biao, which can means it? can you read no, it yeah I, okay. I can't actually read it yeah. right it it means that uh, it says that Confucius is the utmost um, best example master of all teachers ah, of all okay. times wow. so this is the utmost um, eulogy I would like to uh, introduce to you some very interesting sure. etiquette oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because coming into the Confucius temple it is a uh, to worship Confucius and uh, there are two parts of the... Do you mind working here? Yes, that's the place I would like to show you. One of the etiquette is to at the very beginning of each semester students oh God, would come over here Chinese calligraphy to, to open up intellectual ability by writing to use a brush, okay, yeah, to write the brush like on this. the ink slab. But this is and not ink, right? Right. So it's this is actually the water the from water, the pond. Ah, okay, the just outside. So and, and which character should we should we write? You here? should write the Chinese character Ren. Do you know? Oh my God. Okay, okay that? yes. You, you know uh, my word. calligraphy is uh, absolutely it's fine. beautiful. <laughs> Look okay, at that. That's quite that, a confidence. That's very. That's oh my that's God. that's. Not bad. Is this First time writing this? Yes. That's quite okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, and I tried too. Oh my god. Okay, this is so see, exciting. Let's see, Ga, let's see, Gao Ang. Okay. Yeah, my, mine is way better. 
Wow, she's doing this professionally. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you yeah. think hers really is better than mine? My Ren is do, better. Do you know why they should, you know, okay. people should be asked to write Ren? Because in Chinese, um, in the Confucius philosophy, it is very important to have the personal cultivation. Oh, okay. And before you ch achieve anything, you have to achieve to be a qualified person, person ah, yeah. first. Okay, so okay. I, now we're coming on to the second part. The second yeah. part is to offer red eggs to <laughs> Confucius <laughs> Temple. Yes, please. Wow. This is a very interesting uh, etiquette. Oh my god. Oh wow, thank you. Thank wow. you, thank you. Oh, the that's red eggs. It's still warm, right? Still warm. Yeah. Boiled Let's eggs. Take a closer look. Okay. Boiled eggs there. Boiled yeah. eggs. I think oh. they indicate like a 100, like achieve good grades exactly. on your performance. <laughs> Joined together with a brush, yeah, one hundred percent. Oh right, oh, okay. So you hold the the egg in your. I think palm. first we have to return this to the yes. table, right? Yes, return uh, it to the table to uh, present the oh, offering. Sure. Offering to yeah. Confucius, hold right? Hold it oh, okay. in your um, oh my God. palm. What palm. do you feel? I feel. Uh, yeah, put it I feel in front of here. Privileged. Privileged. Let's come back. Okay, offer to Confucius. Come back to here to. to so Mr. Zhang yeah, show us how to, part. what's the right gesture yes. to pray? So you see the statue is holding mm -hmm. the hands in this formation. His left and hand first. Left hand in the front. Okay. And backed with the right palm. Okay. And bow three times and you can say your prayers in your heart sincerely while you're bowing. Three times. Okay. okay wow. Oh I'm very sure that you can achieve greatly, especially in your academic performance. So we're going this way. Oh, that's good. That's good news for me. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to show you um, because this is the whole compound. It has many uh, construct structures and buildings. Yes. Now we'll head over into the, the into museum. The east wing. East wing. East okay. wing of the. Uh, it's a little museum, right? Like it is. It is. It used to be a worship place to hold up the name tablets of the um, famous students, eminent students of Confucius. But now it's being transformed into a gallery, a museum, oh oh, introducing showing the history of Chuanzhou. History Chuan of Ah, right. Okay. Oh. Let's take a look. step. Now we're just heading in here. Right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is like so small, but like some like yeah, so many stuff to modern. To look, there are so many pictures. Exactly. Wow. Well, it, and I believe really... it's weird old meets the new, right? We just came out from ancient temple, and now we're entering into something really modern. Yeah. Bear in mind that Chinese used to be quite prosperous in one thousand years ago, but. Nowadays, it is still a prosperous and thriving city. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, rich in, uh, rich in culture and rich in economy. And then here we can see the roots of the Maritime Silk Road the here. Yeah, the Silk Road uh, was... And there is Chenzhou, we can see if you're on the map, it's Maritime. You can recognize it immediately. Uh, this is the... Um, um, expedition carried out by UNESCO experts mm -hmm. ah, in 1991. Okay. It's a map but, of maritime silk road. But they were they were uh, traveling according to the ancient maritime ah. silk road route. And also, I saw some like sculptures and ceramic there. And we went to one of the factory before, right? Yes, the this is the famous De Hua Porcelain de Blanc de Chine. Uh, which actually there'll be a live stream tomorrow. I'll also be in that live stream, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, but this was one of the main exports yeah, uh, from Chuanzhou, very, right? Very ha happy you bring this up because yeah. the porcelain products were the main commodity ah. that exported from China, ah, and okay. it was the main goods that uh, make China so famous. Along with uh, iron as well, right? Iron, iron, tea, uh, tea, silk. Silk and then the, obviously the and porcelain. porcelain. Oh, okay, wow. So yeah. these were the main commodities, and these were for exports. And the imports the was mainly, imports mainly spices, spices and pepper. And pepper. Pepper, ambergris, ambergris, which is found inside of a whale's stomach, which is actually really expensive. Yeah. Precious. Very precious. Very yeah. precious ambergris. in ancient yeah. wow. times and even nowadays. And also the uh, sandalwood and the you know, the wood with uh, fragments. Ah, okay. And I also noticed that Quanzhou used to name Zaytun. So tell me, uh, tell us more about that. It sounds so interesting. It's like a plant, yeah. right? And yeah. It's very interesting because Zaytun in Arabic means um, 
olive. So oh. people were looking around, um, around trying, to, uh, trying to find an olive tree, but they could f not find any. Uh -huh. But um, it is very, uh, very interesting and um, uh, very interesting and very good misunderstanding because in ancient times when Arabian um, merchants mm -hmm. came to Chuanzhou, uh, they saw these kola tree flowers, kola tree flowers, which is a red flower. A red flowers. Red oh, flowers, okay. and uh, they asked the local people what this flower is. And a local replied in the Minan dialect, mm -hmm. they say this is Zi Tong. Qi Dong. Qi Dong. Uh -huh. And Qi Dong sounds. Qi Dong. Qi Dong. And it is almost like a translate correct um, translation. Oh, okay. And um, because it sounds very similar to Zai Tong. Ah. So Zai the Tong. foreign merchants then named Chuanzhou as Zai Tong. Zai Tong. Ah, okay. So that's oh. the. The, the origin of this name. Of the name. So the city is like full of such plants or such flowers. And because in the 10th century, the mm -hmm. land governor mm -hmm. planted along the city wall this uh, Zaitong flower trees. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is why I see. it was also very famous. Oh, so now we're oh, walking out of the temple right. and uh, heading to our next station, right? Yes, we're yeah, heading we are to going to visit next um, heritage site. Mm -hmm. Which I just is Qing Jing yeah. Moss. Yes. yes. Mm. I just told Jason that we have like three keywords describing Quanzhou, mm -hmm. and uh, one of them is diversity. So I heard about like on one street there are different temples, and there are also uh, like a mosque. So we are amazed at how these different cultures and religion can coexist together. Yeah, uh, very important. There is a very important street which is called Tumen Street, mm -hmm. and which is we are about to walk along. And on this street, we have the Confucian, uh, Confucianism from mm -hmm. China, yeah. and uh, Muslim, Islamic mosque from Muslim, and also folk beliefs like uh, Guan Di, Guan Yue ah, Temple. Okay. I see. Yeah. So um, it is a, but they are very closely In such a close setup. proximity. Yeah. yeah. Close of, yeah. yeah. Living in harmony. Yeah, together. Coexisted ah, yeah. peacefully. I'm sorry, I have to interrupt a little bit. We saw a, 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 a fans on a Facebook saying that a great teacher, Asian wisdom, especially for those in government, saying by Wong Joy Hun. So can you tell us more about Confucius, Confucius and then uh, how his impact in uh, East Asia? Um, actually, Confucius advocated that uh -huh. the society should be governed. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and a personal cultivation also should be made by a set of rules and etiquettes. Oh. And especially the per personal cultivation um, would be brought up by um, a set of music and uh, music and etiquettes, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, his philosophy was very profound. And yeah, also important, uh, uh, like uh, impacted a lot, like Chinese government officials, right? Um, it's the mainstream mm -hmm. ideology in t terms of governance throughout yeah. the past, throughout the whole imperial China history. Yeah, he formed the basis of uh, East Asian culture and society as we know it today. Oh my today. god, I yeah. told you, Jason's the expert on Confucius. Yeah, yeah. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know you know so much. Yeah, yeah, Confucius and also, expert. We have a, a, a Facebook uh, fan saying that it's her hometown, Kintali. So Chenzhou is actually a city of over 8 million people. Yes, right. it's the largest metropolitan area uh, in Fuji, Fujian province. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. it is with nine, uh, almost reaching about 9, nine million, million ah, people. Okay. And still a lot of people living overseas. Mm. That also had uh, Chuanzhou as culture also has the uh, influence in Southeast yeah. uh, Asian countries and regions. And our previous um, fans just say Wang Joy Hong said one doesn't pray to Confucius but respectful honoring his contribution to mankind. I think that's ah, quite fair. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's quite an important and I think here uh, contribution. Of we food. noticed some like red breaks. Is this special only to uh, Chuanzhou? Um, actually, walking a lot. Uh, Along Chanzo, you would see a lot of brick uh, buildings. The, the red brick, especially red right? bricks. Oh my God, Jason, you want to feel this? It's oh, quite. Wow. I think it's not that different and from this, this stone. Is, but this is from the local local clay, like soil. Wow. Yeah, clay or soil. Local clay. 
that would. And when you touch this uh, a little bit, oh, wow. uh, weathering it's, and it's, broken, it's you it's see the, the, the composition of the, mm -hmm. of the crumbling of the clay. Yeah. And oh uh, you are touching the history because wow. yes. this, most of this piece of history. Most of these uh, residential houses were built in the Qing Dynasty. Oh, and wow. uh, walking along Chuanzhou, you will see these red brick um, buildings. We use red bricks a lot mm -hmm. on, on the pavement of the wall, on the pavement of the floor, and, and, and even the tile of the roof. And was it from here that it spread to Europe? Because in Europe, they also, and like around the world That's in the like US, Chinese they also characters. have red brick. Did it originate here or? Um, we we, we, we oh, think yes, there are connections so. yeah, between the yeah. two, but but uh, the most likely that people would be using the locally produced uh, clays. And there are some residency to, of... to, to make these bricks. Oh, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Awesome. And there are some residency from like very old time, right? Um, yes, these could be dated back to the uh, Qing Dynasty. Oh my God, Qing Dynasty. Uh, Qing Dynasty, uh, wow. because it flourished uh -huh. to its peak in the Song and Yuan, uh -huh. but it kept uh, developed in the uh, following uh, dynasty. Yeah, so this was yeah. this house was built in the Qing Dynasty. Has yeah. a timber, timber frame. frame. Wow, it's a timber framed and red with you know paved with red bricks, with the red, mm -hmm. red, also white granite. White yeah, and the granite. window is also very interesting and have different patterns. Yeah, yeah, and that is brick. If That's you brick? have oh, a detailed right. look, it's oh not a wood. Wow, it's, it's not, not wood carving. It's, it's, it's brick. That must be difficult. To so, uh, so, make. so it is with a very exquisite mm -hmm. craftsmanship that can make, make out this of kind of architecture. Yeah. And Mr. Zong, I also heard about that forms. there are like local gods for communities here in Chenzhou still are living right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, we're uh, just on coming up on the right here. There's a small yeah. kind of temple. Uh, um, Chuanzhou people are a big fan of, um, oh, of religions. They're a big fan of religions. So in uh, many um, in corners, yeah, uh, if here, you walk like, through, this is small alleys. Oh, yeah, you just one coming up here here on the right here. Alley and there's a wow, temple look at that, wow. that worshipping uh, community god. So what oh, do wow. people usually pray for God here? I'm sorry? Uh, what, do you, what do people usually pray for Pray for, for God? The god is actually over here. Oh, oh my god, we can come in. <gasps> over there. Oh, wow. wow. It's, it's so tiny. Yeah. It's so tiny, it's on a passage. Oh, mm -hmm. just, yeah, just in this uh, little What do you know, usually pray for? For, it? Uh, for safety, safety actually. For safety. the safety of the people and the prosperity of the family. Oh and the well being of the family. Okay. okay, so now we're heading out into the streets of Trenjo, the hustle and bustle here. Hustle yeah. and bustle. Yeah, is it one of busy. the most busiest streets here? Uh, one of, yes, because this is the central area of the city. Mm -hmm. Wow! As yeah. you may also see, live on many the ground local here. Yeah. Specialties. Do you have like recommendations? Um, some of the peanuts that the peanuts specially good. cooked, uh -huh. and also they have this uh, threaded, uh, the curd, the threaded uh, peanut, like uh, cakes. Oh, oh okay. my God. Also the very cakes. delicious. We should try those. Yeah. Yeah. Right. After our live stream, you will definitely visit it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, also the uh, mian xian hu, which is the uh, kind of paste mm -hmm. cooked paste? with the um, rice noodle. Ah, oh, rice noodles. Oh, okay. Ra rice noodles, but in a in a pasty way. A and that is very uh, special food of Chuanzhou. Oh, okay, what is that? Sweet, salty, it's, spicy. It's salty, and salty. you can put different ingredients. Oh, I saw okay. there are like so many cars on the street. So is it like a busy hour of the day? Um, I think, uh, yeah, right 10, now it is, it, it is about the... Wait, uh, really, when they get work? Because we got to work so early, like 8 or 7. Yeah, we had to start but, this live stream so early, yeah. But <laughs> anyway, this is the center of the city. It is always busy. It's oh, always yeah, busy. Yeah. Where are the center of the city? Yeah. yeah, and along the streets, there are different shops. There are even like noodles and uh, many bread shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's... Uh, it's going to uh, take a look at the street. And this the a uh, two-man street you mentioned, right? Yeah, we are walking along the Baiyuan Street, 
and which means the hundred, the origin of hundred uh, rivers or, or water. And right now we are entering into a Tumen Street. Tum so, Tumen Street. Tumen, Tumen Street. Tumen oh, okay. Street. And and you can see like we've only been walking for about say several like, minutes. Several minutes, and actually we're almost at the mosque now, which is just down the road here yeah. to the left. And so you can see it's in such close proximity these different cultures, religions, ways of life uh, yeah. here, living together in harmony. Uh, so we should take note, uh, that's how we should live today. Yeah, we should take note from the past. Like the diversity and then uh, how they exist together. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, and I heard about there are also like Arabic community, even mm -hmm. nowadays here in Chenzhou. Right, uh, because of the merchants coming from overseas, mm -hmm. from Arab, Arabic regions and also from Persia mm -hmm. in ancient times and they have their um, descendants living still in the city and they also form their community and uh, 1000 years ago their communities would be kind of gathered centralized along the mosque along, oh, okay. uh, around the mosque around the mosque yeah but nowadays they you know also have their own settlement uh, which is which there are two settlements. Oh One my is God, Sony with Dane and there. another is Guo. Oh wow, hello, yeah, so we met a fellow hi. CGTN colleague oh here. Wow, hello. Say hello to the camera. Oh, oh hi, hello. Hello. she's hello. also doing hello. a live stream. Hi. Hey, oh, live stream. welcome. So uh, this is our Arabic reporter, Wang Xin. And Wang Xin, this is my first time uh, coming to such a mosque. But I believe for you, it must be not the first time. So yeah, yeah. what do you think this mosque is different from others? Uh, I have visited a lot of mosques in China. Oh. And the uh, Qingjing Mosque mm -hmm. is the oldest one. It contains 700 year old uh, uh, stone, ca uh, stone carvings oh, stone in carvings. Arabic. Yeah. But it's what about really worth a visit? I see. Mm. So we're so excited that we're coming there. And also, I wonder, like, how's that on in like foreign countries, like outside China? Ah. Uh, Qingjing Mosque is the uh, most uh, similar I have seen uh -huh. uh, with uh, uh, mosques uh, in Arabic uh, countries. I see. So, Mr. Zeng and Jason, we're arriving at this mosque. I'm so per excited. So tell us more about this. Yes, sure, we're at sure. uh, Qingjing Mosque, right? And, yeah. and the, the literal English translation is uh, up most purity right yes yeah, so if you just like word by word oh, right, to the yeah. utmost purity yeah. if you just have a look of this wow, magnificent at appearance and you can see it is quite splendid even nowadays i mean in today's point of view it is quite a big mosque and not to mention 1000 years ago it was first built in 1010 and then nine 1009. And it is the oldest of this Arab style mosque in all of China, correct? It is, it is. Wow. So you wait, also see this gate to tower. Yes. This gate right. tower. Yeah. And with the Quran inscription on top ah. that uh, praying all the uh, all the prayers go to Allah. Ah, the scripture in Arabic from the Holy so, Quran. So see you exactly. soon. Yeah. See you, see you, see you. See you. Have a nice right. trip. See ya. So we're heading inside see now. See these semi domes? And oh, you, it's a semi dome. Yeah, do you have any like uh, connection or links that where would could be the origin of this kind of pattern? Uh, because I, you see the semi domes, the, these vaults, the pointed vaults. Oh, right. It um, is very West Asian style. Oh, okay. And, and then the we come to a full, the full dome and above us here. Yes, after the passage, we entering into this full, full dome. And this is also quite a unique and uh, a typical Islamic style um, architecture, yeah. which is have the pointed like archway and have the domes and, and then multi for you. And then also, can you explain what is this? Yeah, when we uh, look back, there are so many words here, Mr. Zhang. What do they say? Yeah. Yes, this is very typical um, Arabic inscription. It says mainly it contains two information. One, this temple was built in the year uh, 1009, mm -hmm. which is the 400th year of mm -hmm. the Islamic calendar. Um, and the 
temple was the the mosque was renovated mm -hmm. in the year 1310. So by, renovated by, by Muslims. By Muslims from, from Shiraz, Shiraz, Persia. Oh, wow. Persia, Persia, which Persia. is now known as Iran. Uh, now known as Iran. Iran. Exactly. Oh my God! Yeah. Wow. An expert. And also <laughs> notice that this gate is, has very different pattern, right? Like a combination. Yeah, of, you can see the clouds. Yeah, the Chinese clouds. Yeah. yeah, that's something I would like to mention, but you find it already. <laughs> <laughs> you have noticed already because it is very typical Chinese pattern mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the cloud Can design. Can we just get a yeah, closer get a little okay. bit? Closer. With the cloud design and this is called the sparrow, uh -huh. sparrow. brace. Spir or sparrow brace? Sparrow, sparrow brace. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And it is actually functioning as a support uh -huh. between the pillar and the beam. But uh, with the uh, Islamic uh -huh. and Arabic scripture, in, scripture uh -huh. wow. and uh, combining with the Chinese cloud pattern and you can see the uh, kind the combination. of yeah, kind combination of the mesh. melt oh, yeah. the oh. melt the melting pot the yeah. melting like um, of these two cultures proof of uh -huh. the diverse culture oh, so like even yeah. a tiny structure like or construction can reflect how we're like how different religions and cultures are melted so well together yeah. here yeah and not just in these mosques, but also around the city. Mm -hmm. If you walk around the city, you may find these kind of combinations a lot. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is something could date it back to 1,000 years ago. And it's super yeah. symbolic. It is. Um, so when we are walking along, this is the uh, praying hall, the back, the um, outside of the praying hall. Uh -huh. So and we are now heading to a, another like major site here in the mm. mosque, right? And this is the, uh, we, we've visited the Confucius temple and now at the, the Islamic mosque, as you may see, and they are, these two monuments and sites mm -hmm. are part of the 22 historic monuments oh, and sites. Yes, ah, a yeah, total of 22. UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Of the World, ah. World Heritage Sites, yes, exactly. Oh okay. my God. Let's this, get into this praying hall. This is so... Spectacular. So, yeah, so so actually so here you can see there's no there's no roof or can we touch ceiling. It? You can um, touch it. And oh, it's oh actually it's still not known if there was a roof or ceiling, is that correct? Well, um, there are many arguments about the uh, composition, the structure and uh, of the roof and um, but um, it is still to be studied. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we can assume that in a ancient times that um, we can, according to these pillars, there should there have, must a, have been a, 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 a roof or ceiling, but uh, okay. whether it was a, a dome okay, so shape you come feel or, the history. or canvas, we don't come know. Come and feel yet. the history, yeah. yeah. Touch a piece of history right here. Wow. So would, how, how, would, how many years has it been through? Uh, quite long enough, but uh -huh. something else I would like to point yeah, out sure. would be this wall. Wow. If you have... Uh, Detail look, um, it is but can quite we, we different. We can touch that, right? We, I suppose, I we can do that, we but so we can get a closer look, definitely. Have a close look. Take a closer look at the scripture. And this wall is called Miharab. Actually, mm -hmm. the whole facade is called Miharab. Miharab. Miharab wall, it, and this is the direction of to the to Mecca. Ah, right. Okay. To Mecca. This is the direction wow. to Mecca, and it is uh, the setup of the Miharab wall all over the. Uh, over towards that is they all uh, pray pray towards the Mecca. towards uh, Mecca, Mecca. Right. yeah wow. and uh, we notice there are some graveyards here um, can we know um, something about I would have to correct you these are oh. not graveyards sorry these are just the cape stones <laughs> oh, okay. of the of, of some of the tombs they were ah, right. relocated moved here mm -hmm. just for some of the uh, religious purpose and i heard about like an anecdote about like, some di uh, diplomats when they came to the city of Quanzhou, they found their ancestors here this is so unbelievable right uh, but they they uh, noticed mm -hmm. because several years ago i would like to show you the mm -hmm. um, uh, it was the tombstone uh -huh. that um, uh, one of the egyptian um, ambassador mm -hmm. to China once visited the uh, Chinese Maritime Trade, uh, Chinese Maritime Museum, and there's a, a uh, displacement, this uh, a tombstone in display. By writing their and names on it. He found his ancestor's surname, oh, his wow. family name, wow. on this stone, 
and he was so touched and moved. Yeah. And almost two years oh, wow. that he couldn't believe that his ancestors once set on set foot and settled in the city of Chuanzhou. And when he was touching this stone, he was almost like finding a bond oh, with okay. his you know, yeah. ancestors. And wow. this one, this is like a prayer house too, right? This but is this... a praying hall as well. Uh -huh. But you may see this, this is, is very... so Chinese. Yeah, more Chinese, Chinese style. Especially, right? you know, in a courtyard formation mm -hmm. and in a Minan Mm -hmm. Architectural style. Mm -hmm. Okay, you use a lot of red like bricks. different uh, drawings and paintings. And, and there's also mihara wall inside. You know, as mentioned earlier, that oh. there would it's always be. It's also the direction be, um, of Mecca, right? Right. Yeah. All the mosques would have the uh, mihara wall that uh, people can pray upon and towards Mecca. Yeah. And also, uh, there's uh, a tiny, uh, what's it called in English? I would, I'm not furnace? exactly sure, furnace, but mm -hmm. it's to, to burn incense. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's one incense. of the oldest. It, it's also kind of a, a relic mm -hmm. oh, wow. for a very long time. I see. And this hall was built in, uh, in the 16th century in the Ming Dynasty. The Ming Dynasty. Ming Dynasty. Oh, okay. And the main attributes that we are um, applying for the uh, world heritage of the Song and Yuan dynasties. But this is a living heritage, mm -hmm. a living mosque. Meaning people still come here to people pray. People still come here to pray. Yeah, it's still actually not in use. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we just now we have seen the past, mm -hmm. like from 1,000 years ago, 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. And now we are entering into something a, of today, a new section of the, uh, of the mosque. Um, so we can already see the top of the mosque there, there if it, uh, we can take a look. Yeah, the architecture of this is slightly more modern, correct? Right, yeah. it, because it was built in 2009. Ah, 2009. 2009, and that's quite new. By the yeah. found uh, donated by the king of Oman. Ah, oh, Oman. in the West Asia, right? I, uh, right, it's a Middle East country, uh -huh. Oman. Okay. The king Sorry. of Oman. Ah, Oman, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this I, is this looks very new. It yeah. is very new. It's this. Well, as I say, it's a living heritage, and uh, we see. This is our home, right? Our home, Imam. Imam. In oh. Chinese word, okay. Chinese word of the uh, Ah, so we're going to greet him yes. and say hello. Okay. Come, Jason. Okay. Let's Jason. go. Oh, we will meet the Imam now. Meet the Imam. Ah, wow. Hi, good morning. Hello, Imam. Hey, hello. 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 Hey, hello. We're on the broadcast. Thank you. Oh, hello. Today, you're coming to attend. 所以啊，您能给我们介绍一下这边礼拜的情况吗？啊，可以。我们这边礼拜的这个时间标在这边。So we have a timetable over there. 我们的礼拜是一千五次礼拜。So we have like five times per uh per day. 这几天的话，早上四点半的时候一次。嗯哼。啊，然后中午一点半一次。嗯。然后四点半，下午四点半的时候一次。再一个，太阳下山以后一次。太阳下山一个一个多小时以后一次，总共五次礼拜。五次 ，so there are like two times in、uh, the morning and two in the afternoon, right? Okay, yeah, five also, times per day. Yeah, they are Sunday, right? Ah, this is every week. Every week. Ah, 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 every week. So Imam says that people can come to pray when they have time, and then they can also do at house if they don't have time to come here. But on Sunday, the this Sunday, the morning at one o'clock to two o'clock, this time of the day, this time, we must all gather together in the house, in the road, on the road. So on Sunday, the Sunday, the Sunday, the Sunday, the Sunday. Oh, and it also says that Friday is the occasion that when、uh, everyone comes here, that no home and no on the road, but just come to the site to do pray together. Ah, so some big days, is it? Is it? Yes. So, 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 so,
So Imam says that uh, people will come on Friday and also on major festivals. I will come together to pray. Thank you, Imam. Then we will go. Thank you. So, Jason, uh, we've been visited. We just visited a temple and a mosque, which are very different. So let me know what's your take on this. Yeah, to see these cultures, religions, mm -hmm. ways of life mm -hmm. in such close proximities, it's really um, a lesson to be learned for mm -hmm. today's society. Mm -hmm. um, just take a look at how they lived together mm -hmm. in harmony back then. Mm -hmm. We should be doing that now, I believe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and Mr. Zhou, uh, I've been. I know you've been like been here for many times, right? Right. Uh, many times because uh, because of my job is to uh, make the introduction of the city to the uh, people coming and visiting over the world, and it is very um, important to showcase the city, especially as you mentioned, um, the diversity and the prosperity that people jointly. The prosperity of Chuanzhou was not built by one people; it was joint effort by Chinese people, social scholars, uh, I mean scholar bureaucrats, mm -hmm. by imperial family members, by foreign merchants, by Muslims and Chinese, I mean foreigners and Chinese people. Communities yeah. coming together. All together, yeah. you know, built the prosperity of the city. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Zeng. Thank you so much for your brief and uh, so good introduction. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're wrapping up our journey here and then stay tuned to Tides of Change Season 2. Yes, we're heading over to Jingjing Jing now who is going to be exploring and the intricacies of marionettes. Wow. But also because I have water. Maybe hold on. Hello, welcome. Thanks for staying tuned with us. Coming at you from one of the oldest marionette troupe in Shenzhou. I'm Li Jingjing from CGTN. And standing right next to me is an Italian photographer. He has been living here for many, many years. Eros? Uh, good morning to everybody. I'm Eros. Eros. I live in Shishi, Shenzhou. And uh, I came in Shenzhou the first time 10 years ago. Then I fell in love of the city and of my wife, then I choose to stay and not back anymore. Ah, no. And also today we have an anchor from CGTN Russian channel, and she's going to join us, Chitong. Hello everyone, my name is Chitong, and I am from CGTN Russian channel, and I will show Chenzhou culture to Russian, uh, to the Russian, Russian audiences. audiences, yes. And всем привет, меня зовут Chitong, и CGTN на русском, очень вас, очень рада вас видеть. We are a very international multi-language show. So, for those of you who are watching right now, you probably are hearing some music, right? Because in this theater behind us, there are some shows being performed. So next, what are we going to do is take you to watch some marionette show. So, let's, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wow, okay. Some very loud music. Yeah. Have you watched those shows before? I watched oh. them past, but I'm not in this location. Wow. wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Very strong figure that can expel evil spirits, ghosts. So this show is basically showing how Zhong Kui like drinks all the alcohol. But you see, it's very difficult. Like you see how this puppet can hold the handle of a bottle. Like a like a real human, it's very difficult to do.
realistic. Yeah. Wow, this this posture on the on the chair is like every one of us sitting on our own couch and drinking Coke or wine at home. <laughs> you see, they're literally like liquid inside the bottle. Yeah, this is. But the how they can manage it is really amazing. Mm. How many strings they use for moving all the puppets? Mm-hmm. Now he's drunk. Yeah. He cannot walk straight. The God from KTV. <laughs> Realistic. Ooh, now he's gonna drink from this big bottle. <laughs> Because fucking is not yet enough. <laughs> but, wow. Amazing. He's gonna hold that? Like, 
It's definitely amazing. It's my first time to watch this this show. Have oh, you watched this before? I watched this before in uh, in Shishen, Jinjiang, but it is the first time I came in this location because this company is very famous and popular in Shenzhou. Yeah, I heard this this troupe was founded in 1952. So many decades they've been performing this puppet show for so long. Actually, not just in China. Every Yeah. And, and now they are also preparing for a show in San Diego in America. So they are very famous popular. Hello. 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 Hello Performing like that definitely requires so many years of training, but yeah, I, I wonder what I can do it within a few minutes. Yeah, and <laughs> because I read on the book that I need more than five years solely for learning the basic ah. of these uh, four cards. Oh. The is a little <laughs> amazing. This is your person, right? This is a puppet. 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 呃、uh, ，我刚才看到那个啊 ，is coming to me trying to say hi, hello, hello, hello， 你好，你好 ，hello little monk， <laughs> can I can I can I touch you？ 来<laughs> ，我能摸他吗？可以可以可以可以，可以，哦，哦 ，OK。He's hitting my hand. He's hitting my hand. Ah, <laughs> 刚刚我看到那个钟馗，他那个手甚至可以抓到酒瓶。一个玩玩偶的手怎么可能那么灵活呢？啊，这要从小就要学，呃，从小就要练的，对。Yeah, 真的吗？这个他也可以吗？可以，可以，可以。你手手指头伸出来啊。Oh, hello, hi. 你好，你好，你好，你好。Oh, greetings to a monk. I mean, uh, can you touch women? Is this against your religious rule? <laughs> First time to shake hands with a monk. <laughs> 要不你体验一下，来试一下。好的，可以吗？可以，可以，可以。Okay, 可以好。I'm gonna try how to control this this puppet. Um, doesn't doesn't look that difficult, I think. But how many strings do you have? 可以，来试一下。来，这个这个有多少个弦？这个有三十多条。对。Thirty over thirty strings. So amazing. All right, okay. Which string is controlling the hand? Okay. 首先必须要这个握，用虎口这位置啊。Use this palm. 虎口虎口夹在这。Hold this part. 来，然后这边手，这两条线对。拿这两条线好，来。这两条是控制哪里？这这两条线是脚线。哦。对对。要如何控制脚呢？让它走路。你两条线这样捏着哈，然后中指跟嗯跟小拇指走一路分开就可以了。哦，这样动。对对。然后我就动。好，我来试一下啊。对对对。首先捏住它。对，然后。呃，中指跟小拇指分开，对，然后上下挑动，对，啊、左右左右挑动，对对对。啊，呃、uh, ，like a baby walk。不错不错。啊<笑><笑>、uh, ，even one year old baby walks better than this <笑>。Now let this this looks this doesn't look nice <笑>。这个看起来不好看，我再试一试。好行。这这。不错不错，已经走的不错了。对，我也可以动他的头吗？来，可以可以，左右晃动，这、嗯、左右晃动就是动他的头、嗯。对对对，嗯，这样吗？对对对，嗯嗯嗯嗯，哈哈哈哈哈，嗯哈哈哈哈哈 ，This is all I can do, and actually this looks easy. Uh, but you know, like I was just holding this for like two minutes, but I can feel the sore. On my arms. Imagine they play the whole show for seven minutes straight and control every joints, every tiny details of this、uh, puppet. It's very, very, very difficult. So, Lin 老师，您要要练多少年才能达到像您控制这样的、uh, 控制玩偶的这样一个水平？就是一个呃木偶演员嘛，他要有五年的科班，就是说艺校学习。五年科班。对对对对对， uh. 然后还有五年的实呃。到呃舞台上实际呃实际的操作，然后就说一个优秀的幕后演员吧，应该要有十年的基本功底。十年、啊？对对对对对对。这比当医生还要难呢。对对对。Because if you watch the ends, it's really amazing. Because. Ah,、uh, because he just said,、yeah. um, for to to be a like very skilled performer like、yeah. him. 
at least five years in arts school to learn、yeah. the basic, and at least five years performing on the stage. Like、wow. overall, ten years to be a like master like them. Ten years, even longer than being a doctor,、yeah. <laughs> or around the same time being a doctor. So it's very skilled profession. This is a 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 very skilled profession. 四十一年，对对对对，您您今年贵庚？四十一年，对，七七七九年到现在应该三四十多年，对吧？哎 ，Who is good at math? Who can count the time? 对，我今年我我，<笑>对，应该四十四十多年，对对对。那您今年多大呢？啊，今年，<笑>因为您看着很年轻了，快退休了，快<笑>。对对对，您看着很年轻，但您说说，您已经光从事这个都四十多年，简直难以相信。因为什么？因为可能就是呃。练墨的人吧，就是他手指比较灵活。灵活那咱们不是说说呃健身就要这个呃手的筋骨就要动，嗯，这个跟跟演墨戏有关系。是吗？对对对，然后演墨戏还可以让人更年轻。是。<笑><笑> He's been doing this for forty one years.、Wow. He doesn't look old at all. Like how can he even just doing this for forty one years?、Mm. You look less than thirty. 你只看起来还不到三十岁。过奖了，过奖了，谢谢谢谢谢谢。然后我看到这边还有好多的玩偶，啊、这个木偶啊、嗯，应该是都不一样的。So there are so many other Mariana， 呃、uh, ，here。这是这是旦角。旦角。对对对对对。嗯 ，a female figure。哇 ，so many details. Look at the decorations on the head, the clothes, and there's an umbrella in her hand. 这也是一个，对对，这也是个小沙尼 ，a monk comedian though with this、uh, paint on his face. This is a comedian. 这是一个什么角色呢？啊，这是一个，呃，衙役，衙役就是那个公差。啊，对对对。Those who work at the ancient times government. 嗯。这些真的是很精致，很像一个真人。They really look like real humans if you pay attention to the details. Like real humans, we this 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 group is about how many members? Ah, we this group is about eighty. Eighty people. Eighty people. Because that is all older or younger? Is it just all kinds of instruments? Ah, ah, ah. 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 On camera thing and behind the camera, like design the stage、yeah. and everything. Oh, 这个看起来啊，光操作这个就已经很难。但我相信制作这样一个木偶，其实也是超难的，对不对？对对对对。然后呃，我们可以，我们这边有国家级会务这呃传承人林冲、oh. 林林冲鹏老师。他就在那边是吗 ？OK， let's go to the master who creating those puppets. 好，谢谢您，谢谢您。Because um the skills to control the puppets is very difficult. But like imagine how difficult it is to create those puppets. 您好，大师，您好。这些都是您做的，是不是？哦，您正在雕刻新的一些，这些已经初见一些人脸的形状了哈。So we can see there's some. This is a raw, uh, prototype. But we can see some figures' faces.、Yeah. But they are the final product. Oh, this one. Can move.、Oh. <laughs> I look at the details. So the mustache, the hair,、yeah. everything is very real. And 这边呢也会有很多的人啊，动物 ，different figures like including animals,、uh, figures from literature. But I want to show you this one. 这个看起来非常特别啊。这个会会动的。这是会动的。对对对。哦。可以展示一下吗？可以，可以。来，这个可以，这个拿起来，这个，这个哇！哦，了很多的机关。嗯。This one can move. 哇，我可以试一下吗？可以。So this is like a monster from literature. So here, through his neck. It's not just a tongue. Actually, it's a snake, and the snake has a has a tongue as well. 这个您做了多久啊？这个比较久，因为这个是做活动的，嗯，要二十多天左右。二十多天，二、uh, 十多天对 ，just twenty days.、Uh, I asked him how many days he used、yeah. to create this one. Just twenty days. That's less than expected.、Uh, expected. 这听起来我比我预想的要少很多啊。一般人做，我感觉用不上半年，我也是可以理解。这个这个活动呢，要设计，而而且还要做几个、嗯、几个
关节在里面。嗯，可以拆开了。可以拆开的吗？哦、oh, ，Really? Okay. Let's see what's inside,、yeah. shall we? Because it's all different parts connected together. This. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. We just opened his brain. <laughs> But、uh, take a look at this. There's so many different gadgets inside.、Yeah. So even though it just looks like a, a head of a figure, but actually very complicated. Can you open it? Can you open it? Put a needle through his head. <laughs> wow. Ah.、Yeah. So ah, this, so many. Ah, this is the part that、uh, controls、yeah. the tongue. It's a snake. You this 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 Uh -huh. I, I don't know how long I need for long、uh, to realize、yeah. it, because before we asked the master, how long I need for long to manage it. This is twenty days. This is twenty days. This is twenty days. Oh, oh, oh! This teeth is movable,、uh. and once we remove this teeth, then 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 Wow! So you have to design this in like different pieces and connect them all together. 就你要在在设计的时候就要想到这些不同的部位，把如何把它们组合到一起哦。而且要要配合的很好才可以活动。哇，这个好厉害呀！您做这个呃藕头有多长时间了？我做这个到现在已经四十五年了。四十五年哇！怎么你们每个人说出来的数字都这么大？我十二岁就进来了。<笑> Wow, he has been creating the heads for 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 puppets for forty five years. Forty five. So every one of them gave a really long life. Need all life long for、yeah. for for long. And he came to this troop when he was twelve. Wow. He was just a kid. So he's been doing this since he was a kid all the way to <laughs> this age. Wow. Now we can understand why he's a, a culture heritage because yeah, that a, requires decades require of dedication. Require heart and all life. Yeah. For, for manager. 那就是嗯，这个你这些看起来这么精致，我觉得卖起来应该也不便宜吧？我都没卖，不卖啊？为什么不卖呢？因为我都做给剧团需要用。你只给为这个剧团来做？那如果有人想出高价给你买呢？我都没没没买。就为什么您会喜欢这样这个技艺？我从小就从小就喜欢这种。嗯。所以以前我一个哥哥在这里面，所以我就经常跟他来看。哦，有一些人是家族的影响，对对对家族的。你哥和你给哥哥都是在做这个雕塑的。对对对对这个、哦，所以说我就经常跟他来，那、嗯、那就喜欢这种。哦，就、啊、后来就考见。哇、wow, ，He refused to sell any of those, even though like he definitely can sell them at a high price, but he only make those puppets for this troop. And actually, it's kind of like a family business because he has a brother. Who is doing the same thing for this troop? So they just love it and continue to do it. That's what it requires to be a master of an art and make this art into a cultural heritage. 谢谢您，谢谢您，林老师。好，谢谢您。谢谢您，太厉害了。So so many masters. I Have you watched those kind of shows in Europe, in Italy? No, not yet. In Europe, not. But I know that this kind of show somebody saw in Europe, but not often. Wow.、Mm. So,、uh, marionette is、uh, cultural heritage in Quanzhou. Like so many places in China, has this kind of puppet show,、yeah. but、uh, each of them has a different style. Quanzhou is different because they have their unique sounds, new unique music that are created for each figure for each shows. So now they are listed as this cultural heritage, recognized by China, by the world as well.、Um, so it looks like they are ready to perform the next show. 我们是不是要开始演下一个节目啦？哇 ！Let's go to see. Master Lin is about to perform with his mom.、Mm. Ah, that's the mom I just said hi, said hello to. <laughs> <laughs> 
，我叫小沙弥啊！大家看我一面笑嘻嘻，一身可不是自己。无论我快乐如神仙，逍遥过日子，说说我真快活了啊！一人唔知一人歹，咱是艰苦啊，无人知啊。早起就扫雪流不长，下晡就打水压菜园，到到到半暝，也得江河上头倒倒水卡汤。今仔早起，阮师傅说：“小沙弥啊，你着落山去化缘了。欸”我说：“是我在。”<笑>啊！四季捡到一碗，天光一大早，苦背的就行。为话无说，落山来去火焰，钓钓钓，落山来去火焰嘞。是甲我上敬，我阁计倒头谢了哟。假着气一摆，唔知阁会顺嘴未？对对对，先来讲伊气上肉的哟。<音樂>
走靠边，卡机嘛得多，唔通走，慢慢行得。我就一步随一步，这卡山一在，这卡架过来，亲像落地生棍，一步我无落来。啊上京，对对对，过来上京哦！叮叮收来，叮叮收，留伫无声往回游。人说对卡皮包，我我都爱对卡对，一个大叶油。阿弥陀佛，阿弥阿弥陀佛，我靠！卡骨闪掉了，这这卡骨闪掉了了。